Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm Kirsten. I'm a Lake Metro Parks naturalist and I am here to Bluebird Monitor. Now, what is Bluebird Monitoring? Well, it's checking a nest box that looks like this for Bluebird or other cavity nesting bird. And it's basically checking up on their babies this time of year, especially, and making sure that the nest is clean, dry, safe, and that this is a good spot to host this box. Bluebirds especially are very picky when it comes to habitat. They also are really not great at defending their nest. They're kind of smaller birds. And so sometimes uh, other species will actually take over their nest. So we would like to keep an eye out for that. If it's a bad fit, we move the box. And they also are susceptible to insects. They don't do well sharing a house with a paper wasp just like we probably wouldn't do well sharing a house with a paper wasp or maybe a lot of fly larvae. They don't make good neighbors for bluebirds. We have predator guards on our boxes. This actually prevents predators like snakes or even mice from getting into the boxes and uh, taking over the nest. So that's a good thing that we've put in place here. And not only bluebirds live in these boxes successfully, house wrens, chickadees, and especially tree swallows like to live in these bluebird boxes as well and sometimes bees come to visit. <laughs> so let's take a peek inside this nest box here. We basically count up the eggs, we count up the, the young if there are babies inside, and we make sure that everything's clean, dry, and healthy. So in here, this is a really easy nest to tell. This is a house wren nest. We know that because it is made almost entirely of sticks. Most other birds do not do this. They usually build their nests out of grasses, pine needles, other sorts of materials. So we can tell just from the nest that it's a house wren. I don't see any eggs in there. I don't want to poke around too much because I don't want to disturb the birds any more than necessary. Now, most of the time we recommend monitoring about twice a week. That seems to be a good balance because it gives you some some time to look in the boxes and it also doesn't disturb the birds too much. You want to go and have as minimal impact to the birds as possible. Birds do not, contrary to popular belief, smell humans touching their nests. In fact, most birds except for turkey vultures can't smell at all. So you don't have to worry about that when checking a nest box either. So let's check some more nest boxes. We're going to continue down the trail. So I'm going to check another bluebird box here. Uh, this one has a little bit of a different style of predator guard you can see on there. That prevents other animals from kind of crawling up into the box and predating these species. So let's see what's inside this box here. Oh, oh my goodness, we have a cute little bluebird nest with some baby bluebirds who are brand new. We even have an egg that hasn't been hatched yet. And they, if we look at them, they might start to poke their little beaks up. There we go. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I think when they're this young, they look a little bit like aliens. So let's count them up. We got one, two, three, four baby bluebirds and a bluebird egg in there. I'm going to close up this box now that we know what's inside. The nest was clean and dry. It looked pretty good. We close up the box and then I'm going to walk away because I don't want to stick around for too long. Mom and Dad are going to come back and actually feed these little guys in just a minute. So let's take a little walk over here so that we're not bothering them too much. I just wanted to show another example of a nest that you, a uh, bird's nest that you might see in one of your bluebird boxes as well. So in this box, if you come over here and take a peek, is a tree swallow nest. It's really easy to tell it apart because of the feathers. At first it looks a little bit like a bluebird nest as it's forming, and then you get these feathers in there. You also notice that they have white eggs instead of blue eggs. So that's another common cavity nester that you might see in your bluebird boxes. Thanks for checking some bluebird boxes with me. Have a great day.